just a few shots from some of some of the work in uh, exhibitions uh, in New Zealand. Um, this piece, Dump Truck, this is in a uh, group exhibition with a couple of other artists. So here we are in KL, happy to be here with a, with a lot of work to do. So I have, uh, I've been here two weeks and I have on Thursday this week I will have five more weeks before the exhibition opens and I have a, a gallery to fill with paintings and uh, so this painting is about two and a half metres long and painted with a very small brush uh, either five zeros or three zeros. If, you, if there's any painters here, you'll know what that means. Very small, very small brush, uh, largely. And uh, a, a couple of small works that I completed quite quickly. Uh, but this one, yeah, I guess I've been here two weeks, so it, it's, it's a little bit further advanced. So I finished a bit more of it last night. I think it will probably take about two weeks of you know intense studio work to. Uh, to, to have it finished and I have quite a few more paintings to make which will we'll take a look at what they might be and what I'm, what I'm thinking while I'm here. But uh, this is the studio space at uh, Shalini Canindra Fine Art. It's a uh, good space to work. It's hot. It's much hotter than uh, my studio in Christchurch but uh, it's good. So these are some photographs I've taken while I'm around KL. If I were to paint this there would be no car in it, there would be no scooter in it and I would potentially crop the image, quite like the organic forms of the, uh, the river and the trees in this. It's uh, sort of a little bit, little bit more soft edged uh, to, to balance out the, the architecture. These will all be really obvious sites to you. Uh, many of these I won't paint, but uh, you can still see that for me, uh, or why these might be quite inspiring and uh, Again, if I were to paint this, uh, all, all those people would disappear. And there's certain details I'd like, like the yellow crossing, and I can just imagine how those things would translate into a, into a painting. Uh, that works. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, got, got, got some really nice repetition in it, and um, to, to, to shoot it properly, you would have to be elevated and front on and perfectly set up. I quite like the, the wonkiness and the fact that it's from a um, very much from a pedestrian viewpoint. Um, this is a shot from the Patronus Towers. I will almost certainly paint this, but maybe not while I'm here. I suspect that to do it justice, I would need uh, more time than I have uh, to, to make this painting what, what it could potentially be. Uh, And this was just a beautiful breakout space in the Islamic Art Museum, which uh, I, I really enjoyed the light in there and the sense of eeriness. And uh, I, I won't paint it, but I, I like the, the, the and interior would be would be very interesting. And this feels like it's partially an interior and partially an exterior. You sort of balance out. Um, so there's something very interesting about that to me. And just the, the freeways and motorways and, and the, the, the lights, all, all those things are very, very interesting to me uh, to potentially paint. But here we are. This is an image that uh, I've started painting. And this is how it appeared when I took the photograph. And uh, obviously the sky was a lot clearer than it is now, so I'm glad I got up there when I did. Uh, and to turn it into the long painting, two and a half meter painting that we uh, all before, uh, I cropped it, I, I cut out some of the detail at the base, a little bit of the sky, and that is a word that will go on there, and uh, d dissolve is very much uh, what, what it's doing, it just feels like it's sort of dissolving into the distance and into the jungle, you know, there's a sense of a city growing out of a jungle a little bit, I think when you get elevated you realise how much green space there is in KL, that sometimes isn't quite as apparent when you're walking around the city. And so that's where it's at as of yeah, last night. Uh, so from that, uh, you can see the um, Pitawansa Lake there. And, um, it's 
kind of where it's at. Uh, with, with probably three more days of, of solid painting, I, I, it's sort of all gridded up and drawn up. I can get about that much done in the 12 hour day. This is a photograph I took in Chinatown. Uh, on my first day here, I, I stayed in the hostel the first night and uh, got up in the morning. That's the image cropped. That's what it looks like with text added. And that's where it's at now as a painting. Uh, from that to that. And uh, I'm very happy with this painting. You know? I, I, like, I like the multiple directions, things going that way, things going that way. And it's got people in it, but they're not people. Uh, it's a little bit, um, you know, there, there, there's some cliche and stereotype in there, and uh, I don't mind shying away from that. As, a, as somebody not from here, you, you know, sometimes you sort of embrace those things, uh, and, and they're fine. This is a, another image I took. That's what it looks like cropped. Let's turn it into a square format. I really quite like the uh, brand new skyscraper behind uh, this building which isn't as old as it you know it might appear and that's what it looks like with uh, the text added and that's it as a painting text still to be added uh, the, um, the text i'll just talk about a little bit here uh, this one is just going to say aside and the next one will be monologue so uh, in theater and when people are actors are in plays uh, uh, I'm sure you know there's a, a monologue is when a, uh, a single actor, does pretty much what I'm doing right now, stands up and, and offers their, their inner thoughts. Uh, and in a side, it's the same thing, uh, but often in a multi, multiple person play, uh, the actor stops and they speak to the audience and the other actors can't hear them, so, but you're hearing their internal thoughts. So I thought they were quite nice uh, analogies uh, for these paintings. Uh, Perhaps uh, I haven't put the words on yet, so that could change. And this painting, not really very happy with it. Uh, and so I, maybe by arranging the text in this way, I feel like I might be able to rescue it yet. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, this is another painting that I'm uh, planning to paint. Uh, you'll recognise it. It's the National Mosque, and. Uh, there's just so much going on there that it's really rich uh, to, to paint. Uh, you, you know, a lot of uh, beautiful decoration and a lot of angles, and obviously a place of, of great meaning. And uh, I, I hear the call to prayer each morning, so, so you know that it sort of permeates you, uh, your life while you're here, and so. Um, it feels like it'll be a good painting to make. All the fights will be eliminated, potentially even.